Hey, yo, what's going on? My name is Boss Cat Astronaut. And today we're going to get into a full video on A to H society. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's an easy 10x. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it here. So uh, the first thing we'll kind of touch on here is the art. Um, this project, uh, in my opinion, uh, the art is impeccable. Uh, what these guys have put together is pretty incredible. Uh, but I'm going to touch on all the features on why I think uh, in this space, in the CNFT space, this is an easy 10x. So let's start with these two. Um, I mean, just look at these, dude. Uh, it's almost like all, all NFTs are not created equal. And what I mean by that is the quality of the art. Um, you could just see the the complexity in the smoke, but also the lighting and shadowing uh, on the guy with the kind of small sombrero on. Then you can see more of the grittiness uh, with our ape, <laughs> with the uh, our our uh, <laughs> our jail bound ape or prisoner uh, with the harmonica in his mouth. Let's check out something else here. Wow, dude. Um, you have your, your looks like kind of like a Spanish explorer um, or, you know, somebody from the 14, 1500s, uh, the one to, to your left. Uh, very incredible. I love the artwork on that. But look at the look at the contrast. You have you have this other guy. Uh, shout out to Omar Sy. I don't know if you guys have watched watched the Netflix series uh, Lupin. Uh, dude does a, an incredible job. He's an incredible actor. Uh, but this is kind of his outfit. Uh, we kind of were blowing him up on Twitter uh, yesterday. But if you check out the outfit here, that's literally a Lupin outfit, even with the jewelry hanging out of the pocket. Like, uh, Ada Apes team, this is brilliant. You did a great job on this. Let's move on. Wow. You got your uh, you got your guy from the Midwest who's kind of cool, has uh, <laughs> some wheat or barley hanging out of his mouth. Uh, and he also has uh, his AirPods in. Uh, this is really really cool. And then you got this you know sophisticated like futuristic guy uh, over here uh, with the this eye set on. Um, very interesting, very cool looking. Um, and we'll get into the, the differences and the contrast in these apes, but also what it will mean uh, in terms of community. So let's keep going, guys. So these are your super rare apes, right? So we got an idea of what those look like. So look at this dude, man. This like futuristic kind of night looking guy with a knife in his mouth these laser red eyes like this dude looks amazing uh and then we have this this clan or family you got one that looks like a complete green alien with those alien eyes all the way over here but then you have this guy with the gold teeth um these are just extremely impressive but in the Discord, uh, the guys shared that these are super rare apes. So if you happen to get your hands on one of these, go ahead and diamond hand that thing. Um, these are going to be worth a lot. So let's keep going here. Now, let's talk about the team. So we kind of actually talked about Matassa's uh, artwork a second ago. Uh, this team is pretty strong. I've actually reached out to a few of these guys. They're very active in their community, um, very open to talk to people, um, open about the project. Um, they've been very flexible. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think these guys have gotten any sleep um, in terms of like following up, reaching out to others and really creating a, a very strong project in terms of their planning, uh, their strategy and how to bring value to the space because it's not just about the artwork. It's about more than that. This is a community that they're building. And I, I haven't touched on this, but 
there'll be 7,000 uh, Ada Apes uh, that will be up for uh, sale. Uh, so that's that also should hypothetically kind of bump up your price a little bit based on the scarcity. But uh, these guys, Cardman, uh, very strategic, smart guy, Matassa in Congo. I don't know what they did in terms of the artwork, but these guys are super active in the community, always answering questions, always with a positive vibe, like uh, just amazing. Very impressed with the team so far. Uh, they're going to bring in uh, some really cool stuff into this project that they haven't shared yet. Um, but I anticipate we'll all be impressed. So let's move on. And again, great artwork, great team. These are all elements of what makes a great project. And in my opinion, an easy 10x. So <laughs> check this out. They introduced a family tier system, right? So we'll go through this really quick. So um, they have nobles, royal advisors, military officers, merchants, explorers, artists, and craftsmen. That, so these all have a last name. So think of old school family names and what those meant in terms of uh, you know medieval society. Um, even 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 today, uh, we have some of the top families that their name holds weight for a reason, right? So. Each ape will have a first name and a surname. So these are the surnames you see here, these last names here, right? Uh, that places them in one of 35 different families. Like, how cool is that? Uh, as you can see there, these families represent seven tiers. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would love to get a De Medici. <laughs> Who wouldn't, right? I mean, it's the it's the top, it's the top family tier. Um, your family will determine your closest apes and your tier will be determined by rarity, right? So your nobles are, are the most rare, followed by your royal advisors, military officers, merchants, explorers, artists, and craftsmen. Try saying that 10 times. So um, they also, the guys, the team also touched on some of the royalties and other rewards uh, will be weighted by the rarity of your ape in the family that they're associated with. So again, how cool is that, right? Uh, let's say that let's say that you got a couple of explorers, right? And you really like the reward tier and percentage for military officers. Maybe you go ahead and uh, purchase one of those military officers. Maybe you end up trading a rare explorer that you have. There's just a lot of cool game theory uh, and strategy involved with what you can do uh, in terms of these family tiers. So stay tuned. I think this is really, really cool and original. I, I, I love this idea. These guys came up, they're on to something here. Not only are you building a community of seven, 7,000 uh, Ada Apes, right? You're also building communities within a community, right? By the family names that you, so you have the families, but then you have the family names, right? And we know what that means. Like it just creates an instant bond. Very brilliant on what they're doing here, right? Again, another reason why I think this is an easy 10X. So really quick, um, here's the roadmap. This is high level. They'll probably end up updating this. So they're going to be minting the collection uh, at the end of this month. Uh, one of the great things about this project, it's a community DAO, right? Now we know we have a rats DAO that's out there. What that does is it fractionalizes uh, your investment in assets that you may not have been able to invest in on your own, right? So this is very, very cool. I think this is the future. It's kind of like someone investing in a mutual fund where you might not be able to afford Tesla, but if you're in a mutual fund with other people, uh, you guys can all put money together to buy some of that Tesla stock and, and buy other assets as well. So this is really cool. I like that they're bringing this into the CNFT space. Um, but, uh, 
really quick, it says in Q1, using tools from within the ecosystem will be provided gated access to our community and DAO through Discord. The DAO will have the full support of the official team and will receive a portion of the proceeds from secondary sales. A portion of the proceeds from secondary sales. Value, right? It's always about, it's always, it's not just about the art. It's not just about the community. It's also what incentivizes you to hold on to an asset, to hold on to the CNFT or any, any NFT. It's the value proposition, right? So being a part of this community DAO also gives you access to a piece of the secondary sales. Valuable. Another reason why I think it's an easy 10x. They're going to grow their ecosystem in Q1 of this year. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows, but Q1 just means the first quarter of the year. Um, merch. Uh, they have plans on, I, I can't imagine what this merch is going to look like. I'd love, I'd, I'd personally wear it for sure. Uh, another thing, they're building the first first of its kind escrow system on Cardano so you can trade your NFTs. Again, think about the family dynamic that we just talked about, where you may want to trade uh, some of your Ada Apes for other, other uh, Ada Apes in a different family, or... Let's say you have another. Uh, I don't. I don't want to name a specific project. Let, let's say you have another CNFT that you'd like to trade. You can be part of this uh, escrow system. So high level here, right? We touched on some of the DAO and project features, so I'll touch on it again. And those of you that don't know, DAO uh, in Japanese means the way or the path. Okay. Just, just wanted to give that to you guys. Um, and as a DAO community, you're charting the way to go and the path to go, right? It's the same concept. All right. Now, project features here. You get a membership to the society. Um, you connect with top ADA influencers, stake pool operators, traders, builders, and people with lots of people with a lot of alpha. The, the top projects... I've already seen in the Discord, the top projects are there. There's already people from Space Buds there. Uh, Crocs are there. Um, Soho Kids are there. Boss Cat Rocket Club is there. Um, Clays are there. Um, I think I saw a couple of chilled Kongs. Everybody's there. You know what I mean? Like, So you get the alpha from these great communities that are, that are in the top 10 in the space right now. Um they also said that this revenue sharing tool tool that we just talked about um, will be that NFT escrow tool. It is really cool to be able to trade those directly. Um, I've been waiting for something like that. Um, they'll be putting a lot of secondary revenue directly into new development and partnerships. They said they have a lot of partnerships they haven't announced yet. I'm very excited to hear who that is. They'll they'll aim to focus heavily on metaverse property properties and participation. This is big. If you don't believe me, think about if you invested in Sandbox and you bought land at 0.28 ETH a couple of years, two to three years ago. The floor right now is, I think, 3.4 ETH. That'll, that'll kind of fluctuate. But what came with that land was also the sand tokens that had an all-time high of $8.40, right? Value. There's value there, right? So uh, them investing uh, in the metaverse properties, it's a brilliant idea. They also mention and participation. So I wonder if there'll, there'll be a space for apes to kind of connect as well. I think that would be a great idea as a DAO that we could possibly present as well. Um, additional artistic oriented merch. Physical merch for top holders. I love it. I, again, I would wear this all day. Uh, empowerment of a community DAO. Um, they're going to support us in that way, including financially. So the team is not disappearing. They're going to be here to support the DAO and help us guide the way and the path, right? And like they say at the end, of course, you get an awesome NFT. It's unique. It is fun. It is great. And I can't, I can't wait to be part of 
the Ada Apes, Ape Society family, but also figure out what family I'm in uh, from those seven tiers we talked about. Now, how and where do you buy this? Um, I'll add a couple of links. Um, I'll give you a link to the Discord and the website. Uh, the information that you'll need in terms of buying will be in the Discord. That's probably the best place to look. Um, for those of you who don't have access to Discord, maybe Twitter would be a helpful way to check that out. But try to join the Discord. It's pretty active, positive, good vibes in there. Uh, so whitelist mint. I was lucky enough to hear about this project early, and I got on the whitelist uh, on January. So on January 28th, uh, this video is done on January 27th. So tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, sorry, at 8 p.m. UTC. Uh, they'll, you'll have 24 hours if you're on the whitelist to mint this thing. We know there's congestion on Cardano, so this is great. Kind of eases some tension and concern. I'm excited to I'm excited to get the ball rolling with this. Like you have no idea. Now, in terms of the public mint, that's on January 29th at 8 p.m. UTC, uh, and that the prices on these the mint price is to be determined, right? Um, we'll see what that is, but as I told you before, this project has all the bells and whistles it needs, has a great community, uh, game theory, utility, uh, great strategy, nice roadmap, great team, amazing art, and you're bringing something new to the space with an escrow tool that we haven't seen so we can trade our NFTs. So guys, uh, Boss Cat Astronaut is going to try to bring you the best, bring you the most interesting projects. Um, and I think this is one of them. Uh, go check out the Discord if you can. Uh, check out the project. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know I'm getting into this one, guys. I hope, I hope you have the opportunity to, to, to as well. So good luck to you all. Uh, as always, start every day with a grateful heart. And uh, you know me, man. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you all very, very, very soon. Take care.